Hi, this is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator Eric McRae. I'm at the Cary Art Center with my student Cindy. Hello. And, hello, hello. And Cindy, I, I wanted to uh, involve more of my students in my vlogs. And Cindy had a great question, so far away. Should you paint the examples of the master's art to be able to improve your own artwork and your ability to paint? That is an excellent question. And you know what? The, the tradition of mimicking and copying other artists' works and paying homage to other artists, i.e., when you'll see it, it'll say, <clears throat> um, Eric McRae, you sign an Eric McRae after Van Gogh, Eric McRae after Michelangelo. Okay, obviously, you're painting something from the Sistine Chapel it's pretty obvious you've duplicated someone's work. <clears throat> the problem is, is when you start duplicating your, your contemporaries, your peers' work, then you're getting into uh, copyright infringement and ripping off somebody else's style or their work or whatever. But that's a separate subject. Now, when it comes to the old masters, the history, the tradition of going to the Louvre and the big museums like the Prada or whatever, and the, the teachers would take their students there in droves to copy masters from the previous generation to learn technique, composition, color design. One of the best ways to learn how to make art is by looking at art. Obviously they didn't have the internet and computers and photographs so they went to the museums, they saw the actual works, looked at the brush strokes, looked at the texture and how the artist applied the paint. Thus, that's why we have so many paintings floating around today. So I said, oh my god I have a Rembrandt. Maybe nah, not. No, maybe not. You, that Rembrandt, you got at the yard sale Maybe uh, done by someone who's an incredible painter, but it may not be Rembrandt because what happens is all these things are floating around. Matter of fact, there's a museum in Europe that they determined that <clears throat> a majority of their collection may all be forgeries. Wow. I hope they got a good price. Yeah, yeah, you know, so basically, there's all these things that have been created that are floating around and they're placed under the names of these artists. But as a learning method, I've learned tremendously from I've painted versions of Degas, Picasso's, Grant Wood. Um, Van Gogh, uh, every from time to time I'll still do that. And what you're doing, you're learning how to mimic brush stroke, gradation of color, composition, color theory, all these things come into play and also just fun. A lot about painting is fun and getting in there and learning and keeping a joy and exuberance, a childlike exuberance when you're making your art. And one of the ways to do that is to copy masterpieces and not being, you know, that you're trying to be uh, deceptive or uh, trick someone it's a hey I'm having a learning experience and I like it and strange enough there's an actual market for reproductions of masterpieces where someone said oh I know I don't this is not a Monet but gosh doesn't this look like a Monet right. and Cindy paints this Monet and somebody knows it and they have fun collecting it and you have a great time creating it so that's what would be my answer okay thank all right, you good deal all right fantastic thank you follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook and YouTube share this with a friend take care